Hi guys, not a free review today, and I finally got my Takuma Sentai Gold Busters Red Buster SH Free Guts by Termination Nations and Bandai. Bandai. Anyway, so I finally got it today for New Sun. Thanks guys, and uh, the only reason I got this figure was because um, my friend is kind of a big fan of Gold Buster. He saw the whole season. Uh, 2012, and uh, right after um, Cody uh, came um, last year, and ended this year. So I saw pretty much the whole episodes, the whole season, and uh, it's not a bad show. Obviously, it didn't got a lot of reputation to hold for, especially you know the toys, and uh, you know. So yeah, and everyone, everyone was doing an April Fool's joke that, you know, they're going to adapt Go Busters into Power Rangers Energy Chases, but obviously it was an April Fool's joke, so it didn't happen. So, anyway, enough with that, enough said. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do the figure review right now. There we go. Let's package in. And this fig is pretty old, this came out two years ago, so... So yeah, and there's plenty of reviews out there for what the hell is this to mine? And yeah, so here's packaging. Looks really nice. You can see the Red Buster doing a nice fist pose. And this is Tokuna Sentai Go Busted Red Buster. And it's saying about the SA Frigates uh, thing. How it is, it's in there. I got them over here. SA Frigates, Tokuna Sentai Go Busted Red Buster. Side packaging, same thing, really, really shiny and glossy this one, more of the red buster there, and cool poses, it's morphing time, action, weapon, busters ready, here you go, super style heroic action, SH figure, there's more Japanese stuff, little weapons there, more side packaging there, boom boom boom, boy in packaging, and such and forth. So we'll just take out the packaging, take a little break, and see what we get, bitches. Alright guys, finally took out the packaging and uh it was kinda tedious to uh to change the swap of our hands, but uh I'll tell you that in a minute, but uh yeah, so I'm just gonna take off his weapons and uh just did this really cool pose with him. Let's see, this is Pumas figure though. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Hold on, guys. Okay, Let's fix him up a bit. Okay, uh, first things first, um, obviously, I'm gonna talk about the paint application and articulation. Um, let's see, can we fix my camera a bit? There we go. So, yeah. So, overall, uh, yeah, it does look cool, just like from the show from Tokyo Center Go Busters. And, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, he's the Red Ranger, of course, and, uh, he just, obviously, he's the leader of the team, and such forth. And he's got a nice paint application, uh, quite a bit of red on him, he's got. And the costume he's wearing is really cool. It's probably, like, you know spy agent thing what you know but it's not a spy this and that it's just it's a unique uh, super sentai um series so and he's got black application red application of course you can see the zip you can see the symbol the gold boss symbol can you see his morpho It's got a nice paint application, it's got blue, red, and it's like a bronze yellow, we could say, silver, black, more black at the back, and red, silver paint application, and such and forth, and you can see the head scope, pretty nice, and you can see the cheetah, really cool, you can see the visor, it's like a shiny ruby red, silver paint application, and you can see the cheetah, it's got or red silver paint application you can see the 
the black spots, black lining, such forth. You can see on the shoulder, on the shoulder is the little buster symbol. Really nice. Paint application on the foot, it's all black, a bit of red, and nice shindig over here. So, really nice, really cool. Okay, it's got, got articulation. So, articulation, it's got a nice ball joint. It can make it go down, up a bit, left, left to right. So, pretty cool. Pretty nice. Arm articulates. Unfortunately, it's kind of stiff, so we have to be careful because I just took out the packaging. It's got some articulation on the biceps. And obviously the arm can go forward that much, that much, you can join up, up or down, it's pretty cool, you can put it up or down, so every SH Rickers does that. Um, torso articulation, pretty nice, you can bend that much or that much, leg articulation, that much, to the 90 degree angle, pretty cool. You can see the knee joints as well. Let take legs, of course, like I said before. And the foot, you can see the foot. And you can see the joints on the foot. I don't know why they did that. Can you see that? Obviously, my camera's not going to pick up, but it's really not a good level of articulation. I don't know why. But it's got a nice anchor pivot that much. And that much foot articulation again, toes, the toe. I mean, yeah, so you can do that much, of course, make it bend like that. So you can balance out the figure. Hand articulates 360, no wrist articulation because it keeps coming off, and this is a bummer. Also, I took the default hands off. And it was kind of easy, I'm like, okay. So that's really a disappointment. That's the downfall of the figure. So, so yeah. including the left pulsable hand as well. So you have to watch out for that. But obviously the hand is all red. So, so yeah. Kind of disappointing that, that department, but that's SH Rigard's fault. <laughs> so it is what it is. And you can see the ball joints on the leg, of course. Can put it down a bit, up, and uh, yeah, that's it. Just put him on the side, and I'm gonna talk about his weapon. Um, obviously, I don't remember exactly the name of this weapon, but this is his sword, and it's got nice paint application black, bit of blue, bit of light blue, silver, more light blue, a bit of red. It's just really cool. How they look like. So it's pretty decent how they did it. And this is his gun blaster. Same same um paint application always a bit different. It's got red and like a ruby blue we could say. But oh also it's all black, obviously this is his gun blaster. And you can see the yellow bit as well. In the middle of the blaster. And such and forth, so pretty cool. And he's got his other weapon over here. This is his other gun blaster thing. It's pretty, pretty much the, the same, obviously, but uh, it looks pretty cool. And uh, obviously, I think it connects it to the weapon in the show. I, I think it is because it looks like look, looks pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah, I, I can't remember, but. Uh, yeah, but this is another gun blaster. You can see the yellow bit, but it's got a nice black bit on it as well. Same again, same paint application, pretty much, but it does look a bit different. And uh, he's got six uh, pulsable hands. Obviously, I changed the pose default uh, fists. So obviously, it's all red. It's got two open palm hands, two uh, pulsable um, holding his weapons. And other two, uh, not really much difference, but uh, yeah, but they do all these kind of cool poses, and yeah, so that's about it.
Oh, 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 let's jump in. Okay, um, he stands alone. Uh, same, no, it's a bit different this time. No, it's the same. Yeah, f around five half inches. So, it's pretty cool. Really nice. Um, so yeah, let's just finish off this re uh, figure review. Uh, it's a cool looking figure, guys. I highly recommend if you're a huge fan of Ghostbusters. I'm not really because my friend is a huge fan, well, sort of, but he he did got all the stuff, pretty much, and uh, yeah, and the show came out like you know two hours twelve. It's two years old now, and uh, so yeah. Um, but the the good things the good things I want to talk about this figure. It does look cool. If you wanna, you know, make a forever red uh, uh, Super Sentai. Um, go ahead if you want to do that now because I got a lot of red rangers there so I thought you may get it you know but I'm not gonna get um, red but um, yellow buster blue buster and the other you know he he's uh, you know Nick uh, you know his helper and the other guy the blue one the gorilla one and the yellow rabbit I, I forgot the name but those are schools you can still buy them from Nick Hassan if you like what they charge like 900 pounds so oof forget that I just want to get Red Buster and that's it <laughs> but um but yeah but it does look pretty cool the the bad thing is about this figure you can see the joints on the foot I don't know why they did that I can't even fix that the only way to fix it is just put it up a bit and that's it but uh, you can see the joints that's really a downfall and the hands it's really hard to put them in to put the pegos so that's kind of stupid as well but uh, I'm kind of disappointed with that with uh, SH regards. But overall, um, yeah, that's only uh, you know the, the two bad things about it. Um, and another thing, um, it's really stiff at the moment. But if you do loosen up a bit, um, you know, get pay around a bit, and everybody say I'll oh, put some warm water or I'll use a hair dryer, but I don't really do that. And, you know, that ruins the figure or whatever figure or is or statue whatever you should you know play around the figure like that because it ruins the, the material of that but overall it's it's not a bad figure um i highly recommend if you're a huge fan of uh, gold busters and you know why not um you can still buy this one in pass and you can, i'll put the put the link below in the description under the video so uh so you can buy it if you like if if you want to i'm just suggesting so so yeah Anyway guys, thanks for watching my figure review, more to come, thanks for watching, I got more other stuff to come, my diesel rusher is here now, but it's stuck in customs, I have to pay the customs today, I should be getting that by Tuesday unfortunately, but uh, I will be getting that ASAP, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, more to come, celebrate, comment, add, and share now, um, contact me at my Facebook fan page, and my Twitter account, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace, guys. What a come, bitches.